Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. That's right, our electric car road trip has begun. It began, and to start it, we got a new car. We didn't get a new car, <laughs> dang it. I almost forgot about that joke. Last you guys saw us, we had made our way over to Boston, and we picked up our awesome Ford Mustang Mach-E, and it's gonna be taking us all over the place, and we are going to have some proper winter fun. But once we've gotten our fill of the winter fun, we're heading south, y'all. We can't handle this cold. <laughs> We really haven't explored that much of the Northeast, but that is all changing right now, you guys. For this video, we are partnering with Drive Change, Drive Electric, and taking our trusty electric vehicle off the beaten path into the mountains and through some incredible scenery. It's gonna be amazing. We can't wait. We're gonna try not to freeze our butts off. <laughs> but luckily we have heated seats in there, so we'll freeze our tushies off and then promptly warm them up in the car. Y'all know that we recently did an electric road trip through Europe, and we were really excited to recreate that in the States. And just like that trip, we will be talking you through all the features of the vehicle, what it's like to drive an electric vehicle, what it's like to charge. Did I say that electric vehicle too many times? Probably. <laughs> but I think you guys are gonna be blown away by the features on this vehicle. It's basically like driving a computer with four wheels. <laughs> Very unlike our RV, which is like driving a big gas guzzling tin can with zero features. It does have heat though. Yeah, at least that. <laughs> We just took a quick detour out to this awesome park mm -hmm. because we got up nice and early this morning and had plenty of time to kill. But we have spent too much time here and now we are going to head to our first destination, which is Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Yeah, just up the road. We're currently in Boston, if I think we said that. Yeah. Okay, let's hit the road. We'll see you there. Portsmouth, it turns out, has charge point stations just like this all over the city. This is the level two charger, so this is the one that takes a little bit more time. So it's perfect for situations like this where we are planning to spend plenty of time exploring. I think we're good. <laughs> you look like an angel with the sunburst coming down. <laughs> go get regular coffee but I found this place the fresh press and it has this thing called rocket fuel it's rocket cold brew fuel, coffee but with a whole bunch of other delicious things in it I can't turn down a good smoothie y'all so we did it we also noticed that they have this little destination electric sticker which you will see all over the Northeast at all sorts of restaurants shops establishments letting you know that there is charging nearby so that you know that you can charge your car up while perusing the town. Yeah, this is really cool because if you're always charged up every time you park, every time you go to a little shop and stuff, then you never really have to worry about running your battery down while you're out and about during the day. No, it's lovely. So now I got my rocket fuel charging <laughs> me and the garage is charging our car. Perfect. Nice one. On our way to the juice shop, we spotted a little spice exchange and tea shop just, yes. just over yonder. Yeah, and after this trip, we're gonna be staying in a place with a kitchen. So I wanna stock up on some goodies. Yes. This is the one that I'm leaning towards. And Chili I lime sea salt. Have no qualms with that. <laughs> this sounds awesome. Or should we get this giant jar? What do you think? That seems more practical. <laughs> I did have somebody buy a giant jar of that. It really did is you? their favorite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Holy I'm cow, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> Maple bourbon jalapeno seasoning. We were gonna go with Nashville hot seasoning and confirmed that's gonna be too hot. So this is a nice delicious middle ground. This is the site of the former North Pier. There's a handy little plaque over there that says that it was built in the late 1700s and then around 15 years later or so, completely burned down. How Classic. sad. All the old cool structures burned down. It's yeah. so sad. But anyways, if you are not familiar with Portsmouth, it's the site of New Hampshire's oldest settlement and it was a really important colonial seaport for trading and shipbuilding. So that is what they used to do here, big time. I think it's still pretty prominent for trading. I do see a lot of ships and a lot of things that look like they're being built. Yeah, okay, so maybe they still do build <laughs> ships. 
it is named after Portsmouth, England, which is probably a lot of the reason why when you stroll around the downtown area, it looks like you're in merry old England. <laughs> it really does. It's wild. I always forget that there are parts of the U.S. that are like little bits of England yeah. brought over here. It's awesome. But man, it's a little bit cold out here, but we do have the whole place to ourselves, probably because other people aren't crazy <laughs> enough to come out here in this cold weather. Now we're going to go warm up. <laughs> Y'all, how cool does Allison look in her brand new jacket? <laughs> I can't decide if it's too much. I mean, I love it, but it's a little wild. With that and my flares, I kind of... I like it a lot. <laughs> I feel like I'm like back in the 70s or oh, yeah, something. yeah, you're straight out of the 70s. Yeah, <laughs> but it is so warm and so comfy. Oh, bring it on, winter. Give me your best shot. Hit that. And then this is your little door handle. This little guy, they did that to make the car more aerodynamic. That's absolutely wild. The back seats though. Where's the door handle? How do I get in? Oh no. You hit that. Boop. The this becomes your door handle. The whole door. That's crazy. It's all that little stuff that adds up, I guess. No, I guess. Or that doesn't add up for extra mileage. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. That was my first time really driving this thing and you would not believe the power that this thing has. It's kind of unsuspecting. Oh. When you hit the gas, it goes. Yeah. It's funny I'm saying hit the gas. There is no gas. No, I guess you hit the what pedal. What do you say? Hit the, the pedal? pedal? Hit yeah. the power? Hit the power. You feel the power. That's what you say. We're staying at the Port Inn here in Portsmouth and conveniently, they have an electric charger right there. Boom. <laughs> so all that power I just expended going on our little joy ride, we're gonna fill up overnight. Maybe the coolest feature of this entire car, it puts a little Mustang on the ground. <laughs> when I first walked up to it, I was like, who spray painted a Mustang on the ground? <laughs> oh, it's going, go. man, it's pretty magical. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, good night and we'll see you tomorrow. We made it to the mountains, you guys. Oh my, oh my God, it's, it's so very pretty. beautiful all of a sudden. And there's, <laughs> and there's snow everywhere. Real snow up here. Yeah. Check this out. Found ourselves a nice little viewpoint. Not too shabby, huh? Yeah, the sign coming into this. Oh, oh. almost dropped the camera. Oops. <laughs> the sign coming into this park actually said, watch for moose. So I'm keeping my eye oh, out, y'all. We are watching for I moose. I hope that I see one, not at this very moment. We have arrived to the White Mountains, which are about a couple hours north of Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. We still have a whopping 50% or so on our battery. We didn't charge at all since last yeah. night. But we decided to take this opportunity to show you guys around this amazing electric vehicle that we've been driving. First off, you guys have got to see the engine under this hood. I think it's gonna completely blow your friggin' oh, mind. Oh, she's a beaut, y'all. What the heck? Who took our engine? Psych! That's right, we don't have an engine. All the batteries are located under the vehicle. So instead we have a frunk, y'all. It's that a frunk is trunk. the <laughs> actual name, frunk. It has all these little compartments. We've just been keeping some bits and bobs up here so that we don't have to stack it all in the back seat and make mm -hmm. it look all trashy in there. It's very convenient. No weird engine smell, no grease, no oil, no nothing. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't really think about with electric vehicles. There's so much less upkeep with them. You don't have to take it in for oil changes or regular maintenance. Yeah, there's so many fewer fluids too, just the wiper yeah. fluid, like she said. I'm starting to get pretty cold, so we're gonna head inside. This car makes the most pleasant little sounds. I don't understand what a lot of the sounds are for, but they are very pleasant. The first thing you notice when you get inside of this vehicle is giant sunroof, or oh moonroof, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, the next thing you'll notice is that the car is completely silent. This is me starting it right now, actually. Oh, that was fancy. It makes this really dramatic noise. I know. That's the first I time I noticed it. that. And I'm not sure if you can tell from this perspective, but we have a gigantic back row of seats in addition to the front and the trunk. Mm -hmm. You guys want to hop back there and see how it feels? Cool. Why not? 
How's it feeling back there? Y'all uh, strapped in? Good to go? Yeah, I promise I'm a really good driver. <laughs> oh, I see you noticed my gigantic screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the biggest screen that I've ever seen in a car. <laughs> this is bigger than my laptop screen. So this right here is basically the brain of the operation. This is where you control all the cool little bells and whistles that this car has. One really cool feature is one pedal drive, and this basically makes it to where when you let off the gas, it automatically brakes for you. It took a little getting used to, but it actually helps return power back to the car, which keeps it way more efficient. They also have propulsion sound, which gives you this light little hum that ex that sounds like a subtle acceleration when you're hitting the pedal. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to the camera section and you get this 360 view around the car, which makes it as easy as humanly possible to pull into any spot, especially when you're backing in. Yes, but of course, it has has parallel park assist, so you don't even have to worry about backing in. When we did our electric camper van road trip in Europe, we learned all about range anxiety. You guys, in fact, told us about this. We didn't know that that's what we were feeling, that there was a name for it. But it's basically the idea that you have a bunch of anxiety about where you're going to get your next charge or if you're going to make it to your destination or end up on the side of the road. We haven't had to worry about that at all this trip. They have this navigation system. You basically put in exactly where you want to go. And then along the route, you can search for charging stations and then it'll route you directly to them. So you know exactly when you're going to get charged. You know exactly how long it's going to take. On our last trip, I was so terrified every day we hit the road because I was like, we're going to run out of power. We're not going to make it. I have not worried once, not once on this trip. It's been beautiful. Beautiful. Talking about reducing stress, we looked it up, and between Massachusetts and New Hampshire, there are just about 2,000 charging stations. So, plenty, plenty of chargers. Yeah, this shot seemed like a good idea, but now my neck just hurts. So. I know, it's really awkward. <laughs> my arm's going to sleep because I'm just smashing it against my chair. I guess that's our cue to move on. Buckle up for safety. You better actually put your seatbelt on back there. Mm -hmm. Not my fault if you go flying. Oh, jeez. Oh, Bad idea. into town for breakfast this morning and it turns out they have an electric charger front and center at the restaurant. How so convenient. We're gonna top off while we eat breakfast. That's one of the benefits of having an electric car. It's oftentimes front row parking baby. Yeah this is fantastic. Although it's snowing. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. I love it. So you're okay with the cold now? I'm okay with the cold now that it's snowing. As soon as it stops though I'm out of here. Woodstock in for breakfast. It's also a brewery, but it's early, so it's not time for that. But we got this huge, delicious breakfast. They had so many interesting omelets. I got, I can't remember what it's called, but it's crab and asparagus, cheese, hollandaise, potatoes. I mean, all the best things for a breakfast. This place has actually been here for about 40 years, and you can tell walking in, it's got a very homey vintage vibe, kind of like a log cabin. It's a lot of fun. They have a huge fireplace in the main dining area. It's about as cozy as it gets, it really. It is. And I love that I can see the snow falling outside. I have lovely company. Coffee. And coffee. Yeah. Yes, perfect. All right, y'all, we're embracing the snow while we can. <laughs> We are in it, baby. Yeah, it's our final day up here and we wanted to get out in the nature. So we're doing a little hike on yeah. a nearby trail. So there's a fresh dusting of snow that mm -hmm. came in last night. As you can see, it's friggin' beautiful. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> barely anybody out here. Mm -hmm. There's this incredible bridge that we saw from the road uh, that goes across this amazing creek that you can hear off in the distance. So we're gonna scope that out, see how far we can get before we start to freeze <laughs> and then head back. <laughs> A little bouncy, huh? <laughs> it really feels like a trampoline, y'all. It's going up and down. <laughs> it's got these huge cables that go across it that suspend it and hold it up. It's very cool. Kind of scary, but very cool. I'm glad it's just not the wood itself that's bouncing. We got cables, we're good.
Sadly, we're gonna have to say goodbye to this incredible winter wonderland. We haven't, we've been out here for about two hours, haven't seen another person. It's <laughs> no, been it's awesome. Been freaking magical yeah there's actually one more feature of the car that we have not showed you guys you can remote start your car in the app so we are starting it up right now and it's going to be nice and toasty when we get back it also actually helps warm up the battery which ultimately gives you more range so better for us better for the car you can also remotely uh, lock and unlock the vehicle from your phone it does it over your cell signal too mm -hmm. so you can do it anywhere it's fantastic it has been quite convenient mm -hmm. all right but anyways my hands are freezing. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have my gloves on right now, but we are for real gonna hit the road. As soon as we get off this ding dang trail. Keeping this thing charged up has been insanely easy. We just basically find the right charger on the route that we need. In this case, we are doing the fast charger. Ooh, our first time. Yeah, and you know it's fast charger because you got these two fat daddy prongs right there. <laughs> so we found this one at a Whole Foods. So our plan is to go in here, do a little shopping, get some food for the next couple nights. We're actually gonna be staying in an Airbnb. Real question is, can I reach this all the way around the car? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> here, try it. Oh yeah. Yes. Ugh. Barely, but it did it. <laughs> all right, we have finished up our shopping and sadly, all good things must come to an end. We have to finally return this. We're not gonna just run away with it, right? We agreed, no We're running not. away. No? <laughs> uh, but we had an absolute blast driving around, seeing the sightseeing more of the Northeast. We're gonna be in Boston for a few days. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat so much clam chowder, y'all, once yeah. we get there. Okay. If you're wondering why this shot looks so different, it's because I had to switch to my other camera because my memory card filled up. We just had too much fun. <laughs> we filmed everything. We Oopsie. have been filming way too much stuff, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. Good problems. And we All have right. another camera. It's fine. I guess we gotta wrap this up. All right. Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>